All right, good morning. Good morning. All right, we you can see behind me, we're in the greenhouse. <clears throat> and I um, got to get a couple things done in here. I got to get um, for those, uh, but how many containers I got? Eight containers I have. Let me see how many I have. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even remember. Two, four, six, eight. Eight containers over here that I have. Um, I want to plant some some more stuff in there so I need to um, get those get those started and I'm, I'm gonna put those in in little separate cups like this instead of a little bitty uh, cell for the seed starter I'm gonna put them in here that way uh, I can get them to grow bigger in here to transplant them um, and, and then also I went in the in the front food forest and I cut me some uh, a dozen uh, goji berry uh, cuttings and we're gonna get those to start propagating those too and and these are on the green side where last year I picked some uh, more uh, the more mature and uh, that was the wrong ones to pick and I got them sitting back here and I don't think any, anything's not, nothing happened nothing happened to them so the year before that I had picked a small the, the greener shoots and I and I had I don't know a dozen no I had more like 20 of them that I sold last year so uh, I didn't have I'm not gonna have any to sell I didn't have any to sell this year because they they didn't do anything so I got these these 12 and I waited a little too long I saw some bunch of green I could have went and cut it and I've, I've been procrastinating with it I get out there and a lot of it's starting to turn woody and so um, it was very hard to find these 12 and I, I might go back out there and keep an eye on it if I see some new growth coming out I might go ahead and clip them and use that for the cuttings but I'm a, we're gonna take care of that while we at it and um, and I brought in my uh, elderberry plants I had I had a few of those not many and some uh, some figs that I were propagating and they they still alive doing good but I'm gonna get them in here because we're starting to get the colder weather and uh, we want to get them um, in the greenhouse for the winter okay let me turn all the names this way is that let you gold purple purple Another purple. So I only got one gold in here. So I got I got gold out there that I'm going to be air layer uh, come springtime. Okay. Now I'm going to go get my seeds. So we're going to clean this area up. I'm going to put my new goji berries start uh, propagating, and plus the new uh, my new plants I want to put in those eight pots. So I need 16 plants. I'm probably going to you know I'm going to plant more than that because usually uh, you know they all don't you know uh, germinate but anyway uh, let me get let me go get my seeds okay all right guys all right I got this little container down here that I, you know I empty pots in it if, if I get uh, a pot that I, you know something didn't grow I empty it in so I just mix some more compost in it and that's what I'm going to use to get uh, to propagate my goji berry. So let me let me get uh, let me get those kind of going there. Right here they are here so what we want to do is we want to take all the leaves off and leave a few at the very top and uh, 
Now this shouldn't have any stickers on it. It don't. It don't. So I can just kind of run my hand on here, pull these off. Uh, there's, one, there's a couple of stickers here, so I'm going to cut it there. Right there. Okay. So where the stickers were, that's where I cut it. So this had no stickers, so this is, uh, this is good. Young tender leaves, tender uh, shoots, and that's what you want. Now I see, this one's got, I'm not going to use it anyway, it's got a few little thorns coming out. Teeny ones coming out right there. I'm going to be running my fingers on that and get one of those up in my finger. It's still green, it'll still be okay. thing there. Now we got 12 of them and hopefully they'll all take. That's what we're banking on, right? All right, now I'm going to uh, pot up, uh, let's see, about 20 of these or more and plant some seeds um, for my uh, some eight pots that I got empty over there. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get me another shovel or two of the compost and mix it in here. Let me empty out some more stuff here. See, I got like old things that nothing uh, grew, so instead of throwing that away, I can put this in here, mix it with a little compost, give it a little more, give it another boost, you know. Okay, it's five. I need to go get a marker. I gotta have to mark these. Um, 
I'm going to take my marker and put a piece of glass a piece of tile or something. Now let me show you something uh, that I'm going to do here. Now I do have like, see I had these are my, my seed starters here, which you have the tray, the tray, you see the tray, and then you have these, and you keep water in the tray and it keeps it moist all the time. Well that's what I, that's basically what I'm going to do here with these. I put, I'm putting these in a tray, I just don't need that many. I can do this and I won't have to transplant them from the little cell into this then outside because that's usually the process you got to go. You take them out the cells, you put them in, in here with some, instead of using, because uh, that starter mix you use there and this would be more of a, a, a potting soil that has nutrients in it. Well I'm starting it off with that. It's a combination of uh, my starter mix that I've been having but it, it's been here a while. Um, and I just took some compost and mixed it in there, so it's not like a whole lot, but, but anyway. Now, I couldn't do that, I don't want to do that with the goji berries I'm uh, propagating, and that's because if I did that, then the bottom of these would be constantly sitting in water, and it would rot, and so that, that ain't what we want, so we want the water to drain out. And I want to uh, water this a, uh, a little bit every day, but let the water drain out, and it's not uh, sitting and standing water because it would rot, rot it out, and it would never root. Okay, so but these is, is the seed is going to be at the top, and it'll wick the water up and keep the keep the water moist. And when that seed starts to germinate and the roots come out, they're going to start going out in to go get some water to go after the water. So. Um, Okay, so I just wanted to show you that um, in case, you know, uh, you got something going on and uh, you want to trans uh, just plant, a, you know, a few plants instead of, you know, that's 72 in one of these and I got 10, so that's 720 seeds I can plant at one time. And uh, I'm going to get back into that because I have a connection to get in back into the, uh, into the farmer's market, which, uh, let's see, it was... Uh, in 2011, I was going in to the farmer's market uh, with vegetable plants. And the weekend I was supposed to go was the weekend of Hurricane Isaac. And we got flooded here. I lost 5,000 plants. Or 3,000 3, plants. And um, I just never did anything to go back into it. So now I'm thinking about going back into it and just spend my Saturday selling herbs. I already talked to them. I'm going to start growing herbs. So I'm going to get this all set up and get ready to start uh, planting herbs and getting the herbs growing and be ready um, for, germ for germination. Now I might even have to set something up indoors to do this, to get this going. So I um, kind of got the wheels turning in my head how I'm going to do it. If I'm going to make money at this thing, I'm going to probably need to start indoors where it's warmer to get them started. And uh, So anyway, uh, let me let me get to finish finish this because I got somewhere to go now. Uh, my plans have changed for today, and um, so let me get this part done. Um, okay, let me get this part done. All right, starting to warm up. So I just talked to Mindy uh, to find out what she wants more of. She wants more broccoli okay so I'm not, I'm not gonna have to mark this I'm gonna make one thing of broccoli and one thing of cauliflower she didn't say nothing about the cabbage so I'm not even gonna plant cabbage I'm just gonna plant broccoli and cauliflower Shit, and but more more broccoli but I'm gonna do 12 broccolis and 12 cauliflowers and see what, what comes out of it
this is pretty dry, so I'm going to wet it first. And then I'm going to put my seeds in it. So let me get my hose in here. I'm going to back you up a little bit so we don't get you wet. And I don't knock over my camera. broccoli in. I need my little tweezers. Now let's see if I can do this without having to dump dump the whole thing out. Two in each. Broccoli.
we'll do two. Broccoli cauliflower. All right, so this is what we did so far today. We got the goji berries propagated, planted some uh, 12 broccolis and 12 cauliflowers. Okay. All right, so um, there's a lot more I wanted to do in here today, but I got, got called uh, to go do something. So, um, so I got to head out. So uh, I think I'm going to take some of the spinach and scatter some spinach seeds around and uh, see if we can get some spinach to grow too, okay? And spinach is good to do, uh, you know, direct seed. So I'm going to plant some spinach around this here with the, uh, with the beets in here. And I can fit some around here, around this lettuce. And I might try to put some around the uh, kale back here. So let me let me get my little. Spinach, I think, is big seeds. Oh yeah, they're huge. I can actually pull them out with them. But the tweezers, instead of sprinkling, I have way too many because these are these are big seeds.
get some over here. And this one. All right, we got a little bit of uh, spinach here. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today. And uh, so I got a little bit done in the greenhouse. Good. And, you know, got this side kind of cleared up. It was kind of looking junky in here, man. I got the floor swept out. Um, all the, um, the turmeric, I went ahead and cut off all the greens on it um, because it was dying down anyway. And uh, I've got roots all in there. So I'm going to do a little research to see if I need to pull the roots up. Or if I can leave them in there, because I know when I when I first got all this stuff a couple of years ago, um, I got it around the fall and I planted it, and man, for never did nothing until it started getting warm, and then the shoots started coming up, and I almost thought, well, I wasn't going to get anything. So I'm thinking everything's going to be fine, just like it is, you know. So um, yeah. So anyway, um, now I could dig them up and I could break the roots apart and make more plants and that might be what I'm going to be doing soon so uh, I'll keep you updated on that and make a video for that for you guys but as of today I'm going to sign out I'm finishing off uh, working on here we went ahead and did some goji berries cauliflower and broccoli and uh, there we have it guys see you on the next video be blessed okay